What's going on y'all? Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. I'm Imani Murray and this is my YouTube channel where I share tips and tricks to help brands and businesses improve their online presence. And in today's video, we're going to be doing another episode of what's new with Instagram. A lot has happened in the Instagram world since my last which new with Instagram in April, I think. So we're gonna get right into it. There's about six new updates. Um, I'm gonna share my two favorite ones at the end, so stay tuned for that. But let's get right into it. So the first update that we're gonna talk about today, and I really hope it's not echoey in here, but the first update that we're gonna talk about today is the ability to turn off your audio or your video in a live room. So if you haven't watched one of my previous videos where I talk about live rooms, live rooms are Instagram lives with up to four people. So now you can go ahead and turn off your camera, you can mute yourself, Maybe you got a lot of noise in the background or you're, you gotta get your hair together. You can go ahead and just click either the mute button or the video button, similar to Zoom, similar to Skype, any of those, FaceTimes, all of that. It's the same concept. So yeah, they introduced this recently, I wanna say in May, if you just wanna be able to be on the live, but not really be on the live, if you get what I'm saying. So the second update that we're gonna be talking about in today's video is the ability to add pronouns to your profile. So Instagram has introduced a new feature where you can go ahead and add he, she, they, them, him, her. Um, you can add it right next to your name in Instagram. So go into your profile, you look at your bio, right where your name is, these pronouns will appear right there. And all you have to do if you wanna set it up is go into edit profile, and you'll see the field where it says pronouns. You select up to four pronouns. You can also turn on a setting where it only your pronouns only appear for people that follow you. So maybe you only want certain people to see it. You can go ahead and just have it on for those followers. This really makes it easy for users to really share who they identify as. So this is really big for Instagram to do. Now the third update is something that nobody asks for. <laughs> like literally nobody asks for this update, but you know, Instagram just goes ahead and does what they want to do. So there is a new way to upload carousel posts. If you don't know what carousel posts are, they are posts that include or feature multiple pictures or video in one post. So basically the post where you swipe through, that's a carousel post. So I thankfully right now don't have this um, upgrade or update. In order to upload a carousel post or multiple posts in one, you have to hold down on the picture or the video that you want to go first. So you want it to appear first and then it will allow you to select nine other pieces of content. And if you didn't know, when you are posting a carousel post, you can only upload 10 posts, you can only feature 10 posts in your carousel. And just another tip regarding carousel posts, you definitely need to include this and you really should include this in your strategy, in your content strategy, because I don't know if you've noticed, but people who post carousel posts, you may scroll past their posts one time and then you see it appear in your feed again, but now it's the second post. Now it's the second picture or video in that same post. So Instagram pushes carousel posts. They just change whatever picture you're gonna see first. Now the next update to Instagram is the ability to hide likes and view counts. Now, if you're like me, you're probably like, but I haven't even been seeing people's views or their likes or any of that. I know, I felt the same way, but this is actually kind of different. This update is a little different. So basically there's two updates in one. So if you don't wanna share your, if you don't want other people to know how many views you got or how many likes you got on your post, you can go ahead and hide them. So there's two ways to do this. You can, when you're uploading the post, you can go ahead and click advanced settings and just toggle where it says hide like and view counts, or maybe you already posted the content and you wanna go ahead and hide it after you posted it. All you have to do is go to the actual feed post. It's only, this only works for feed posts at this point. Go into the feed post and then click the three dots to the top right, and then it'll say hide like account. If you don't wanna see other people's views or likes for whatever reason, you can go ahead and go into your settings and then click privacy and then go under post 
and then toggle where it says hide, like, and view counts. So maybe you just don't wanna see how other people's content is doing. Maybe that's not something that you're into. You can easily go ahead and turn it off. You can go ahead and hide it. And of course you can turn it on and off. You don't have to turn off all of the likes and views on your content. Um, you can make it specific to certain pieces of content. Now, I am playing around with it. I don't really like, it's not something I care about. I haven't been seeing people's likes for, I wanna say a while now, so I really don't care about it. But I have seen people say that once they turn off their like and view counts, that their engagement and their numbers have increased. So that's something to keep in mind. Let me know down below if this is something that you're gonna be doing, if you're turning off your likes and all that stuff, or your like count, let me know. Now these last two updates, I'm so freaking excited about, like y'all don't even understand, okay? So, if you've been watching my content um, from months ago when Reels were first introduced and you know I'm team Reel, I encourage Reel, I, everybody should be making Reels, but there was two things that I didn't like about Reels and Instagram has fixed it, finally. So the first thing is, when you were to go upload a Reel, the Reels cover didn't necessarily work on your grid like it wasn't it it just didn't fit like if you go to your real section on your page yeah it looked great but if you go on your grid sometimes it wouldn't the layout wouldn't work so for example if you upload a reel and you find that there's a good shot of you in the reel that you want to make the cover right it may look good on the real portion of your page but if you go to your grid your head might be chopped off or your mouth is chopped off or it's just the alignment didn't work. So what I had to do and many others had to do, we're going to Canva, make a Reels cover, but then we would crop the picture that we would want featured on our grid. We would crop it, put it into this Reels cover and then put like the, the caption of the Reel or whatever the title of the reel on the top above this picture. It sounds like a lot because it was a lot of work, okay? And so thankfully, we no longer have to do that. Instagram has implemented, has introduced a new feature called crop profile image or something to that effect. Basically, it means that you can go ahead and scale the cover of the reel to fit your grid. You can have it so that it fits into whatever you want it to look like. You can choose a portion of the reel, make it your cover, and it'll still work for your grid and for the reel page. For example, there may be a reel that I uploaded where, let's say for example, my Miami travel, mini travel vlog reel. There may be a portion in there where I wanted that to be my cover. Before, I would have to go ahead, do that whole process of cropping things and making this whole intense cover. Now, all I have to do is select the cover in Instagram, and then I can go ahead and zoom in, zoom out, I can move it up, I can move it down, and I can make it work for my grid. I know so many people that were removing their reels from their grid portion of their profile because it was just messing up the vibe of their page. So this is, I'm like so thankful, I'm so, I'm so glad that they finally introduced this. They also introduced this feature for IGTV videos. So now if on IGTV portion of it, I think it's called edit profile image or edit profile cover, which it should be called the same thing on Reels because that's really what it is. You're just editing the cover. So yeah, you can do the same thing on IGTV videos. So you no longer have to worry about your head being chopped off or something just being chopped off, it can now all fit in the little square. Now that they got that together, I'm gonna need them to allow us to re-add reels back to our grid, but that's a whole nother conversation that we'll get into another day. Now, this last update, y'all, I am just like, over the moon. Like I'm dramatic, but I'm literally so excited for this for so many reasons. I've talked about this in all my reel videos. I talked about it in my 30 day reels challenge. Part of the problem of, of reels were 
yeah, we were uploading them. Yeah, we were creating this content and Instagram was pushing it, but we didn't know if it was really working. We didn't have insights. We didn't know if we should keep going. We didn't know if our audience really liked it, except based on the views and the likes and the comments. But we wanted to know real insights. And y'all, they finally, 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 finally have given us insights for reels and for live videos and for live Instagram lives. So let's talk about the reels first. Because y'all, when I tell you I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Because now I feel like I'm excited to be making reels again. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at it's Imani Murray because best believe we are creating reels every day, all day. So what insights do we get? We can now see the accounts reached. We can see how many times it was played. Of course, we can see the likes and the comments, but we can also see how many times it was shared and how many saves. Y'all. Okay, so how do you actually see these insights? So basically, there's two ways. You can actually go to, well, I want to say there's three ways. You can actually go to the actual post. If you have it shared to your grid, you can go ahead and click view insights that way. You can actually go to the reel and click view insights, or you can go ahead and go into your actual insights and check it that way. Now let's get into the Instagram live insights, which also another great update. So with Instagram Live updates, they are providing you the accounts reached, the total amount of views, also the peak concurrent views, which basically means that the highest amount of views during the actual live stream. So not during the playback on IGTV, but actually in the actual live stream, the, the highest number of views. And they're also giving us um, the amount of shares and of course comments, but the amount of shares as well. Shares, if you can't tell already, shares are very, 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 very important these days between the shares and the saves. Those are two insights, two analytics, two metrics that you should really be paying attention to. It shows that people are really connecting with your content, or maybe they're just talking about you. But either way, they're taking some type of, they're connecting to it in some type of way. And that's not it for the insights update. They also updated the reach section on insights and they're providing numbers, they're providing metrics, they're providing insights for people that don't even follow us. They're, they're telling us how, how many accounts were reached for people that are not following us and they're comparing our content type based on reach. So my reels get the most reach, so that's my top content type. Because why? Instagram is pushing reels. So I'm super, super, super excited about these updates to insights because I've been waiting for them. Um, and to clarify, reach and impressions are two different things. Reach is the amount of unique accounts that your content has been seen by, and impressions is the number of times your, your content has been seen. So reach is one where impressions can be um, multiple times. Does that make sense? Um, so yeah. So. That's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Are you excited for any of these updates? I am. I'm very excited as you could, well, I don't want to say it for all of them, but for most of them, I'm very excited. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. And as always, you can follow me on all social media platforms at it's Imani. What is my, my handle? As always, you can follow me on all social media platforms at it's Imani Murray and see you in my next video.